In today's episode, Team Singapore badminton player Lo Kian Yu shares with us how he adapts his regular training and life in our current situation. We have popular singer Shai performing for us and a new hot menu item from celebrity chef Angela May. And welcome. Thank you once again for staying home together with me. I'm Hosan Leong. Now, you know, I've been called the Singapore boy. And um, now that I'm not a boy anymore, I'm going to be bringing on a special guest who is, well, I would call a Singapore young boy, young man. <laughs> Some of us may know him as a young rising badminton star who beat two-time Olympic champion Lin Dan at the Thailand Masters last year. Here to speak with me about how he's keeping fit and sane throughout this COVID-19 pandemic, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is Mr. Lo Kian Yu. Hello! Hi, hi everyone. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Doing yeah. fine. Wonderful. I, I, I hear you are... You are holed up at home in your little room with your brother. How's how are things between the two of you still friends? <laughs> yeah, still friends. We are helping each other out. Yeah, quite a bit. Ah, so he's going out to buy More food for before, you. More than before, actually. More than before, right? Yes, correct. <laughs> Last time I asked him buy food, he'll be like, nah, you go get yourself. <laughs> all right, now he's like, okay, bro, I'm going to go out for you because he wants to go out, right? That's why. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for taking the time out to have a little chat with us about this whole situation that's happening around the world. Now, you are like top-class, world-class athlete, okay? So, during these times when you are stuck at home, how are you keeping fit physically and then, of course, mentally as well? Because as an athlete, you've got to be sharp all the time. So, how is this period you know, doing for you? Okay, so before this circuit breaker started, right, we actually... Um, had a little bit of preparation. So the coaches together with the sports team, like Sports Singapore, um, the support, support team, all, all of us, we actually like um, make, start, started to plan training programs and also like to keep up with our usual training as much as possible. Right. So like we actually have like programs for daily training so actually, it's still the same as normal, like every morning and afternoon training. So yeah, so we need to update our coaches um, if there's any program like that we cannot do or need, needed to be modified because everyone has different home mm -hmm. training or so yeah. So you do it so in the home, actually, is it? In the house, in, the, in your room? Yeah, in the house. Mostly, if I can do it at home, I'll do it at home. Right. If I can't, then I will go to somewhere that got nobody. So we actually still do video analysis. Like we watch we watch um players play and then we actually discuss with the coaches and um other team teammates as well. So that's what? partly how I'm keeping sane. The Olympics this year in Tokyo have been postponed. Now the lead up to the Olympics is not an easy one. People are training, the athletes are getting their minds ready, their bodies ready to hit peak performance to, to show the world that they can get the gold medal. So this has put everything out of whack for you, right? How are you feeling? The postponement is rather good mm. compared to being cancelled. Right. Yeah, because if it's cancelled, then a lot of, I think a lot of dreams will be shattered. Like, mm. For those that are going for their debut or even their last Olympic, yeah. So I think the postponement is a good decision. Okay. I mean, from my from my point of view, of course. Yeah. And also, but there's also um, quite a few uh, planning stuff that's being affected quite a bit because mm. we actually plan like all the competitions, all the competition schedules, training programs, when to pick, when to like train train like more intensive and all yeah, yeah but so everything is being mm, kind of affected yeah the cycle has kind of been been broken or, or you disrupted call, yeah disrupted it's... yes for sure yeah. do you have any words of uh, encouragement for the youth for the young people of singapore watching that do you know they might be feeling a bit down i think some of them some of us maybe even be depressed because you can't go out you can't meet your friends you can't meet your girlfriend boyfriend <laughs> How? What, what, what? Do you have any words of encouragement for them? I think this is a good time to actually like learn more about yourself, to get better, improve yourself. Mm. Like you can actually do a lot of things mm. that um, that usually you can't do. Like for example, maybe if you usually don't get enough rest, you can actually have a lot of rest time now and play games, sleep a lot. 
or if you always want to like uh, for example exercise you mm. can actually do it now you got no excuse <laughs> so it's I think it's all about finding what you want to do and knowing knowing what we want to do and actually go and do it rather than just mm. always saying I want to do this I want to do that I got no time so I wish you all the best uh, keep safe keep well keep strong and keep flying the Singapore Singapore flag high for Singapore thank you so much can you thank you thank you too well, stay with us because when we come back, we've got entertainment and what dishes are we going to cook up for you today? I've tried everything, anything and everything. Nothing works, this just hurts. I know they say that I still look okay. Guess I'm just a little bit impatient. I'm never stray too far from home. Welcome back. My next guest has a voice that's been likened to that of Billie Eilish and Claro. Let's say hi to Shai. Hi! Hi! Hey Shai, what have you been doing at home uh, during this whole circuit breaker period? Um, it's my school holidays now, so I've been sleeping quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But I've also been working on new music and like trying to learn new things because I feel like, you know, now is like the best time because you know, before we had the excuse of like, oh, I have no time to do that, you know, now it's like, haha, well. Yeah, now you've got more than <laughs> more enough than time, enough right? Time. So you said learning new things. What new things are you learning though? Um, I think because of the situation where in a lot of schools are like moving to online classes, so you don't necessarily have to be enrolled into the school almost. Like, oh. I know um, Museum of Modern Art in America, they're having like these free online courses for like, so many different things, whether it's like fashion, photography, visual art, stuff like that, and it's free. I mean, cool. if you want the certificate at the end, of course you have to pay, right. but it's free. So if you want like free extra knowledge, that kind of thing, so it's 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 really good because it's it's there for you. So yeah. <laughs> Who needs a certificate anyway, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So you write and uh, produce your own music now. Yeah. What inspires you and how did all this come about? Well, if you listen to my songs, you realise that most of them are about like, oh, having crushes and like, you know, girl boy like drama. So like... Um, <laughs> all the emotional yes. teenage angst, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mainly write about like very generic stuff, I guess. Maybe like, you know, things that people have probably experienced before when it comes to like having a crush, like really relatable stuff like, oh, I like him, he doesn't like me. Then when I stop liking him, he likes me, what am I going to do? Yeah. So it's, it's like teenage crisis, that kind of thing. So <laughs> I wouldn't say that like I sit down with an idea in mind. Sometimes I, I do, but most of the time it's like I make the instrumental first oh, and okay. then from there I see what sort of vibe it gives me. If it's like cheeky, if it's a bit more like moody, then I'll write from there. Oh. So yeah. Basically, because I was going to ask you which comes first, lyrics or the uh, music. You say music first. Yes. So are you musically trained then? No. Ah, then, then how, how does it all happen? <laughs> um, it's, it's quite funny because, you know, like since I'm doing music, you think like, ah, uh, she has like musical background. But I grew up as a dancer. Mm. So I've been dancing since I was three. So I did ballet and Chinese dance. I can do it now if you want, but nah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, we're here for the music, guys. <laughs> um, and when I went to secondary school, I was really into theatre. So I was in Sota for theatre. Ah, okay. But I think, although it was like pretty present in my life, like music, like because dance, you know, you have music accompaniment. Accompaniment. <laughs> yes, accompaniment. Accom Say ten times very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and then for theatre, you know, like music really helps move the piece sometimes. Sure. So it was in like my fourth year in Sota and I was like, we were doing this piece and it was really musically driven and I was like, hey, why is this so nice? Mm. Like, oh, maybe, maybe I found my new calling. Mm. I don't know. So, um, yeah, it was... 2017 in December where I was like, you know what, I think I'm going to just 
try to make music because I had a keyboard and like a computer that had GarageBand on it. So sure. I was like, you know, why not? What song are you going to be performing for us today? Um, it's a song of mine called Impatient. Right. Um, I initially wrote it because I have been dealing with acne problems since like I hit puberty. So it's really frustrating. So right. yeah. I decided to write a song about it, but I didn't want it to be like really sad and emo and like, oh, I have Yeah, enough of those kind of songs with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I made it a bit more fun and like, okay. you know, like, upbeat so that it's sort of like, you know, yeah, it's it's a bad thing, but like, you know, I'm going to dance to it, so, and all my worries will go away, <laughs> so. But I feel like I chose it because it kind of suits, like, the situation we're in. Everyone's, like, a little bit impatient mm -hmm. because, you know, when is it going to go away? When can we go out again? So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Don't shy, because here's shy. <laughs> This never goes away I've tried everything, anything and everything Nothing works, this just hurts I know they say that it'll go away But I guess I'm just a little bit impatient I've tried everything, anything and everything Nothing works, this just hurts I know they say that I still look okay I guess I'm just a little bit impatient Please refrain from looking at my face Hello everyone, I'm Mei Kui from Yes Chiu Sen Sen. Music is a big part of my life. During this period, I'm staying home to learn some of my favorite songs to share with everyone. I'm hoping to spread positivity all around and also sending my love to all the frontline workers and social ambassadors out there. Let's overcome COVID-19 together as a nation. Welcome back. The struggle to eat desserts non-stop but remain healthy is real. But don't worry, Chef Angela's got you. She is going to show us a step-by-step -step process of making a delicious yet healthy treat. Hi everyone at home, I'm Chef Angela May. I hope you are all safe and healthy. So now I'm sure you're hungry and you're running out of ideas on what to cook and you're thinking about, hmm, what can I do that's interesting and unique today? Well, now I have the perfect thing for you, especially if you're a vegetarian. We're gonna do a simple vegetarian zucchini tart. It's going to look magnificent and like a stunner, and for sure you're gonna wanna Instagram it all over the place, but it's actually very easy to put together and to do. So what we have with us here today is I've already pre-baked a tart base, and so for this, I just put a tart base into the oven 
for about 15 minutes just until it was golden brown. Took it out and so now that's just par-baked. I've sliced an entire zucchini really, really thinly. This is about 100 mils of milk, 120 mils of cream. This is cream cheese. Now, normally for this recipe, I would use ricotta, but all of Singapore is completely sold out of ricotta now. So we're gonna improvise a little bit and hope for the best. And these are just some twigs of oregano and rosemary, three eggs, oregano and rosemary that I've already chopped up, and salt and pepper. And now as I'm getting ready to assemble, I'm gonna go ahead and mask up. So now I have this cream cheese. Now this is my substitute for ricotta today. If you found ricotta, please use it. It's gonna be delightful and delicious. Or you can actually make ricotta at home. It just takes a little bit of patience and a bit of straining to do and consistent heat for about 20 minutes. But cream cheese is a bit more difficult to work with because it doesn't break up as nicely. So I've tried to like make it as soft as possible. And I'm gonna use this big bowl so it doesn't get everywhere. Go ahead and break up the cream cheese a bit. Just soften that up. You can do it by hand, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and use one bowl, so I'm gonna put my eggs directly in here. And I'm just gonna break up those eggs as well with a whisk. Go ahead and put some muscle into it. Okay, and then coming in next, we'll go ahead and put in our milk and our beautiful cream. If you don't have fresh rosemary and oregano, then go ahead and just use dried. I'm gonna use a healthy bit of black pepper because I love it. And this is gonna be about, let's say three pinches of salt. Okay, now that's looking pretty good like that. Now that's about exactly where I need it. I'm gonna go ahead, get a little jug here. Mmm, perfect. So now because I'm already pre-prepared over here and I have my beautifully par-baked tart base, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. Now here is the fun part. We're gonna start building our zucchini rose. So this is gonna be so fun. I'm gonna move this so you can see exactly how I'm building my rose. What we start is just by making layers all the way around the base with the zucchini just overlapping each other slightly. So go ahead and just push them into the base a bit. You want your zucchini to look like they're just nestled inside a beautiful, warm base. And as we continue to overlap, now here's the important part. Now you want to have your next row be placed in the center of the one that's behind it. This will give you that rose shape. It's not gonna take too long, it just takes a little bit of patience. Okay, and as I'm starting to get to the center here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take about three rounds of zucchini, trim them a bit so I can make a nice shape just through the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're just gonna take some of the whole rosemary as our garnish. And then now I have a preheated oven of about 180 degrees and I'm gonna bake this for about 20 minutes. But actually, you can just test your oven and see how long you need to bake yours because your pie shell might be a little bit bigger than mine. Just bake it until it's not jiggly through the center anymore. Now 
Now look at this. You can see when you just jiggle like that, that it's still got a little bit of jiggle, it's still a little soft in the center. So you, what you would want to do is go ahead, let it sit out, let it cool down a little bit, be a little bit patient, but let's go ahead and get into this guy. So I just have a removable bottom here, so I'm just gonna go ahead Okay, so now I'm just gonna slide this over to this plate and then make it a little bit pretty around the edges. Got all of this gorgeous oregano still as well. And I think if I were feeding my family, they would appreciate how lovely that looks with all of the fresh herbs around the outside edges. Now this is definitely too warm to be totally set in the middle, but I cannot help myself. So now I wanna cut carefully so that I can still keep my beautiful zucchini rose in there. Oh, beautifully and just jiggly there in the center like that. Now this is my stay home treat to be able to eat my pie just directly out of the tray like this. Mm. The cream cheese actually worked. So if you have the opportunity to try it with ricotta, please do. This is definitely my treat for staying home today. I hope you all are staying safe. Thanks, Chef Angela. Times are tough, but let's stick together, apart in our own homes, of course. Keep up with the latest on COVID-19 at the MOH website, or sign up for the gov.sg WhatsApp channel available in English, Chinese, Malay, and Tamil. Also, download the Trace Together app to protect yourself, your family and the community. So we can stop this COVID-19 from spreading. You can find out more at tracetogether.gov.sg. I'm Hosan Leong and I'll see you real soon on the next episode of Home Together. Stay safe.